Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is the first time you have been here. Today I'm going to talk about or share an easy way that I have found to make a big beautiful bow on all of your packages. So obviously you can use this around the holidays but you can use this for birthdays and anniversaries and anytime you're giving a gift and sometimes large bows like this can be very um, intimidating. <laughs> But this is such an easy way to do it that you can't mess it up and it's going to work or look amazing every time you do it. So what you're going to need is obviously your wrapped package and then you are going to need wired ribbon. Always, I always, whenever I'm looking for wire or looking for ribbon, I always try to grab the wired ribbon because you can maneuver it and kind of move it around where you need it. Uh, and a tip that I like to share, because this is going to use a lot of ribbon. Look at your thrift stores, there are, or yard sales or estate sales. There are so many times when I find bags and bags of this brand new ribbon for inexpensive. Um, your dollar stores also will have uh, wired ribbon. And then also like at the end of seasons. So I found this at Walmart for 90% off after it was after the fall season. So it was very inexpensive. And I always, when I'm shopping clearance at any store, just a little tip, always look for things that are more neutral. So like this, I could use this at Christmas. I could use this for a birthday, an anniversary or anything. Whereas this kind of leans more Christmassy. Silver can be used any time of year, birthdays, holidays or whatever. So I always try to, um, you know, if I'm at the thrift store or yard sale and I find a bunch of Christmas, I will pick it up. But if I'm at a store where it's, you know, more clearance, I get a little more picky and I just try to find those ribbons that are a little more neutral and I can use them all throughout the year. So I'm going to switch the camera around and show you kind of above me or as I, my hands are working so you can see how easy this is to do. Oh, I thought I was going to choose to put the camera above me, but I'm just going to do it this way because the package is a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna do this above me. So the first thing, you also need some fabric scissors. I forgot to mention that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, here's my roll of ribbon. I am just going to take this around my box. Like you normally would. So I just did crisscross in the back and then I am going to pull this a little bit more because I just need a little bit more on this side. Okay. Now that I've folded, it doesn't want to lay flat, which I understand. <laughs> okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this right here. And then I'm going to make a, just like a one knot, just that's it. And I'm gonna let it sit there. You can do this the other way as well, where you would go the short side first and then do it long way and then tie the knot. Either way, it, it's fine. Okay, so, What I'm going, okay, so I have two of these rolls. So the bigger the roll, the better. The more, the bigger you want the bow, the more ribbon you will need. So I went ahead and I cut this, like I said, and I'm going to use a new roll uh, to make the top of this. This ribbon that I had, I cannot remember the length of it, but I didn't, I still have extra of this ribbon because it was a much bigger roll. These are this size, 15 feet, and I just want to make a big bow like this. So um, I'm going to use a new roll for this. So you're just going to bring it around like this and hold, hold it, and you're just going to keep making loops on top of each other. You're just going to keep, that was two Three. I did nine for the other one, 
So I'm going to do it nine times for this one. Four, five, six, or I'll do it until I run out of this. Six, seven. This is seven. So I'm just going to go with that. I can get seven out of this one. And here is the biggest thing that you want to do. So you can see where this end is here and this end is here. That's the tape from the roll. So I will take those out. So you don't want to put these ends anywhere in the middle. Does that make sense? So I want to make sure they're on the ends of when I do put it down like this. So you're going to push it down like this. So it looks like this. Remember, I wrapped this one seven. This one was nine. It's just going to depend on how much you have ribbon you have and then how fluffy you want it. So like I said, I used one roll just to do this size, um, just to do this wrapping. And then I use a whole roll for this. Um, and I can use the other. I have more left of, of it so I can use it on other things. So you've got the end here and the ends here. So then you're going to push it down and you want to kind of find the center. Does not have to be perfect. <laughs> So if you fold this kind of in half, it kind of gives you a center. You see that? So now you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut a triangle in that center on both sides. Now I am going to tell you again, it's going to depend on the ribbon you're using. This can be hard. Um, this ribbon was hard. It was like straight nine layers of fabric. So. You're just gonna have to get strong scissors. You can use thinner ribbon, so there's one. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And again, if they're not perfectly centered, you're okay. That wired ribbon is gonna, is gonna make sure that you're not gonna see it, is what I'm trying to say. So here you go. And then I'm just making notches here for this to be tied to. So this is what you end up with, okay? So now, let me move this all over. I am going to, let me just set that down and just make sure this is tight. That's tight. I'm going to set this down in the center here. So you can see what I'm doing. Then I'm gonna bring these two tails up that I already had on the box into those two notches and I'm going to tie it. I'm gonna secure it. Easy peasy so far, right? Let me take this tape off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work from the inside out of my bow. So the inside out. So I'm going to grab that first loop and I'm going to kind of bring it up to the middle like that. Then the next loop inside, let me make sure I got the next one, I'm going to come out this side. Okay. You're going to continue to do that all throughout the loop or all throughout your ribbon, sorry. See, I'm just going from the inside out and I'm just maneuvering this bow. Wired ribbon is your best friend, I'm telling you. It's just so nice to be able to put those ribbons and things where you need them. Okay. So I'm gonna turn this around and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna start from the inside. I'm just gonna kind of push it <clears throat> on either side. And if you have this, like this is that tail, it's wired ribbon. So that can become the center of your bow. And then now you can just maneuver to your heart's content. It's like the best thing ever. If you want bigger tails, make those ends to this bigger. Does that make sense? So you're gonna to wanna to do a little bit more ribbon when you wrap the actual gift. This is like the best way and the easiest way to make a full 
bow on your gifts. This is seven, seven loops. This was nine loops. Seven and nine, they're both great. Um, if I had, I wish I had some thinner wired ribbon because I do some smaller packages the same way, but it would be the same process. Um, you just do the same process, wrap your gift, and then, uh, you know, make your, this part. <laughs> and then you're going to just loop it in your hand. You're going to cut those little corners, those little triangles out, tie it on, and then just work from the inside out and move it on each side, you know, as you're doing it. And I just, I mean, these will wow your, you do use a lot of ribbon, but I'm telling you, you can find inexpensive ribbon all the time. So you just have to be on the lookout for it and collect it all throughout the year. Um, my mom was getting rid of a bunch of ribbon that she wasn't going to use. So I grabbed it, what, you know, the wired ribbon because of this. So maybe, you know, if you've got friends and family getting rid of wired ribbon, grab it because then you can make these amazing bows for your gifts. Let me know if you have any questions. If you try this process, I would love to hear from you. Um, let me know if it made it easier to make big, beautiful bows on your gifts all year round.